Welcome to my home kitchen. Today I'm going to be making simple chocolate chip cookies. It's a recipe that we've made a lot and we really, really love it. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, if you please could, so you'll get more updates from my home kitchen, my home garden, and also my allotment. Right, first of all, the things you need are some butter or margarine, 125 grams, which is in the bowl, 50 grams of sugar, which is in the bowl already, I've measured it out. You also need one beaten egg, I've got an egg in there. You need 150 grams of self-raising flour, and you need 100 grams of chocolate chips or chopped chocolate, which I've already chopped. So you also need to have your oven set for gas mark four, which I've done already. And you also need a baking sheet and some baking paper. Now I use these silicone sheets, they are absolutely fantastic. I've used them for years. You, you reuse them and reuse them and reuse them. So it saves on waste. And it also they're also very effective. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can purchase them if you want. We've had ours for many years and I wouldn't be without them. You can use them for many, many different tasks. So the first thing you need to do is mix your margarine and sugar together. So you mix until it's light and fluffy. So with a spatula, I do scrape the sides down and give it a bit more of a mix. You can either use normal granulated sugar or caster sugar. It really doesn't matter, whatever you've got in your cupboard. So. so then add the egg. Start to put in the flour. Turn it down a little bit. Pour in your chocolate chips. And then you're basically done. So all you then need to do is put it onto a baking sheet. So I've got a spoon just to scoop them on with. So if you just lift it up, clean off your mix at all, because you don't want to you don't want to waste any of the lovely mixture. You want it all cooked. I often use a butter knife because it's one of the easiest ways to clean off a mixing tool. Okay. Like so. And get your spatula. Scoop it all around to make sure you've not missed any bits. Again, make sure there's no dry bits in there. That's all lovely and mixed in, as you can see. And then just scoop it out with your spoon. So about a dessert spoonful. You can make them a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller, all depending on who you're feeding. If you're feeding children, you might want to make them a wee bit smaller. So there, so I normally do, on this baking sheet, four one way, and so three rows of four on my baking sheet. So I've divided the mixture into 12 and they're all ready to go on the baking sheet. So I'm going to put them in the oven for about 20 minutes, but I'm going to keep an eye on them. One of the things to bear in mind when you do cookies, they aren't crisp or they're not really, really hard when you take them out. They finish um, firming up when you take them out of the oven. So I'll give you some guidance on that when I take them back out. So in the oven for 20 minutes, gas mark four. So my cookies have had 20 minutes, so I'm going to get them out. There we go, that's them cooked. So you don't wait for them to go really hard because cookies don't go really hard until they cool down. So that's a really top tip, otherwise you'll end up overcooking them. Now what you don't do, I don't take them off 
off of the sheet yet, I slide my silicon sheet onto my cooling rack and I let them cool down a little bit before I start lifting them off. If I start lifting them off now and they're a little bit soft, they could break up. So that's a major top tip to leave them to cool down before I take them off. So I hope that's helped you and you'll enjoy making these cookies and let me know how you get on.